Manifest is a supernatural drama series that makes us all think about planes, the passengers and the possibilities. I recently sat down with the stars from the hit show who talked about their new flying rituals, how much they know about the end of the series and what really happened during those mysterious five years. Here's my full interview. How do you film when it is so cold often here in New York? We have we a lot of these, hot packs. Yeah, we have these things. I call them hot shots. You call them hot, hot packs? packs yeah. Hot packs that kind of they stick to your body yeah. and they heat up. So I have like 30 of them. So on. if it looks like Michaela and Ben <laughs> gained a lot of weight in it's those just episodes, it's packs. just a lot of hot packs. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Layered. Yeah. Yeah. So when the forecast is in the single digits, you're going, oh no. Oh yeah. yeah. Hot pack it up. Yeah. So I want to talk to you about when you first saw the script for this show. Did you know immediately that you wanted to be a part of it? I did, yeah. I mean, I think we both did. Right. Um, it was just different. It was different than other scripts that I'd read. And I wanted, like, if you can read a script and want to know as an audience member, I think, you know, that's a good indication that you should want to be a part of it. I mean, I knew from, I think it, I think it was page five, you know, when in the pilot you read it and it's, it's where Vance is in front of us all on the tarmac and says, you've been gone for five and a half years. You've all been missing, presumed dead for five and a half years. I knew immediately then that this was a story that I could get on board yeah. with and I wanted to know more. I wanted to know more about what happened to them and I wanted to know more about how they were going to go forward as characters yeah. in this new world they find themselves in. It was in returning and, and seeing dad and some of the other family members for the first time after that where like when I was reading it I started to feel you know sad for these characters and so the fact that words on a page could do that are pretty cool. Mm. And you can't help but wonder if Malaysian Flight 370 was an inspiration for this but the creator came up with this concept long before that. Yeah, mm. ten, uh, 10 years ago, I think. Um, I mean, I'm obsessed with stuff like that, like Malaysia 370, Bermuda Triangle stuff. Like everyone wants to know what happened, where these things went. So the fact mm. that, you know, this show is trying to answer some of that. Now, I think I think Jeff Rakin, I think he's, he's said this, that, you know, the idea was started from a family being torn apart and coming back together and how they rebuild. And I think that's yeah. where he began the idea. And I think that's really the, the foundation of, of Manifest is, is about this family. Mm -hmm. And the creator, Jeff Riggs, says he has a six year plan for Manifest. That's what he says. He's a very creative human being. <laughs> how much do each of you know about what's going to happen over that period of time. I mean, season one ends in a really good place of what's gonna happen for season two um, in regards to that next layer of the mystery. Um, but that's as far as we know. That's as far as we know. Yeah. I wanna know a lot more now. Yeah. I used to not wanna know anything, but now I wanna know. Why that shift? Because I convinced <laughs> him. You convinced me, probably. I might be the nosiest human being in the world. <laughs> and when they said that they weren't going to give us answers, that made me want the answers more, yeah. obviously. So, um, you know, I joke about catching our showrunner at, at his weak moments. And that's when you get the information. And Josh is like, no, 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 no. But now. I, but I think now we've become like the audience. We've become like the fans out there. Yeah. They want to know so badly, and so do we. Yeah. But we're all gonna have to wait. How do you hold those secrets to your family, to your friends? It's just gotta be. Cause I like, as much as I like to know the answers, I also love having secrets. <laughs> I love it, I got power. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough. You just kinda gotta dance around it. So do you know? So that's, so let's try. Yeah, ask us a question and see how good <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. yeah. Do you know how it all ends? I do. No, I don't actually. Don't. No, we actually don't. We can answer yeah. that honestly. We have no idea how it actually ends. The series finale, the very last episode. No, I. But, but the creator does. He so says he does, yes, and I'm sure he does. I have faith that he does. I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. How far in advance do you get the scripts? How far can you read ahead? Sometimes four days before we have to start shooting it. It's not yeah. long, yeah. yeah. But you know, we know what happens at the end of this season. And yeah. you know, right now, as we go forward from last Monday's episode, it just keeps hurtling at this freight train pace to the end of the season where we find out information that just changes the game. Everything. Were either of you familiar with Lost before Manifest was brought to you? Yes. I'd heard of it, I hadn't watched yeah. it. And then with all the comparisons, I, I had a peek. Yeah. 
Some fans were disappointed at the end of Lost, <laughs> feeling like they wanted more. Do you know if the creators are conscious about, we don't want to disappoint fans at oh. the very end of Manifest and how they're going to do yeah. that? They're creating a show that's just going to make everyone miserable. Yeah. Um, no, I think that you know, and especially with all of those those questions being asked of them, they you know are making sure that they're doing this the right way. Yeah, you know, I don't think our intention is ever to make anything that disappoints anybody on anything, but we definitely want to make a show that intrigues you and keeps wanting you to ask questions and find out more information and keep digging and keep digging so you can go on this very rich and very complex ride with these characters in this in this crazy crazy world they find themselves in how are both of you when you fly on planes now i mean t i mean not terrified but i think about it all the time i try and fall asleep as fast as possible <laughs> Just yeah knock me out yeah. wake me up when if we're there if there's a little bit of turbulence i think about it i yeah. just i think about that idea it all is, the time it is funny though cuz i think my body um knows i'm about to get on an airplane cuz it gets sick yeah. every time i go to the airport now <laughs> every time and that didn't happen before manifest no. and now it's just like no and i think oh yeah i'm just on this little chair in this tin tube like hurtling through yeah. space at 500 yeah. miles an hour it's pretty wild. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. I heard that you have an OCD ritual when you get on planes. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's <laughs> practical, <laughs> a practical ritual. He's rubbed off on me too a little bit. Yeah, you're doing it now. Well, especially now that I'm getting sick all the time. Josh right. Dallas, bless his soul, is a very clean human being. <laughs> And so... Clean of soul. You clean mean. of soul. That's very yeah. nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> Do tell us a little bit about the ritual. L well, listen, I get on the plane, and as soon as I sit down, well, kind of even before I sit down, <laughs> the antibacterial wipes the spray. come out, and I just, you know, give it yeah. a good old wipe down. You know, the belt, the headrest, the armrest. Yeah. Yeah. Is this a problem? <laughs> Is He'll do weird? my chair too. Right? I'll do yeah. Yeah. If I'm with friends, I'll. You know. <laughs> it's very generous. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I know we've got to go, but I do have to tell you something you already know. You have the best eyebrows on TV. Eyebrow envy right here. Thank you. Because there's. Are you surprised how much attention they've gotten? There's been some haters. Not haters. Oh, no, it's all love. Few. Impossible. Best eyebrows. Sorry, Josh. Thank Best you. eyebrows. They are here. good eyebrows. <laughs> I gotta say. Thank you. Um, <laughs> caterpillars, as some would say. So thank you to whoever said that. But yeah. But, but yeah, are you surprised it's become a thing? Um, no, I was way too poor in high school to pluck them or thread them properly, and so I just gave up, and now is I'm that, really grateful. Wait, is that a thing you have to do? What? Like, as, when you're growing up, you have to do oh, things Oh, in high like that? school, everyone, like, threaded their eyebrows super, super thin, and I was just too poor. My mom wouldn't let me. And now look at you, best eyebrows ever, so be grateful. See? you. <laughs> no threading, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I will have more one on one interviews with the stars of NBC's hit shows all month long on NBC 10 News at 11. And don't forget to check out these videos over here and please subscribe to our page by tapping the button below.